Hello there, welcome to Mad in the UK. I'm Steve. This is another tutorial. This is my first actually on wine making. I have made quite a bit of wine throughout the years, but this is me showing you how to do it. This is a ingredients actually for blackberry, but I didn't have enough. So I had some rhubarb, so I thought, well, why not do a little twist with the drink? Basically, you need is 1.5 kilograms or three pounds of sugar, a lemon for the juice, some pectalis, yeast nutrient, and all-purpose red yeast. I'm not sure if that's essential because it's not all red. Red is it? It's just for the sake it's got rhubarb in it and a cup of cold tea. Strong cold tea. That's to do with the tannins. But it is an art actually making wine. I don't know whether I'm that good or not. It seems to be okay. But to do it from scratch is quite proud if you get something really nice I'm telling you now. So let's get on with it. Okay, if you want to do this as just blackberry then you need four pound or two kilos ish of blackberries. I'm doing rhubarb in mine. Now these have been in the freezer and they've been thawed out. Makes it more juicier. Now I have read that sometimes um, rhubarb can be a bit of a pain. It may have to go into a freezer a second time to help crush it down a little bit more. I've just got to mash these down as you can. They're not going to mash down very well, are they? Never mind. So you can see that we're doing a good old mash there. I'm not too sure what the rhubarb is going to do to this concoction. I made the blackberry wine few years ago that was absolutely delicious you can drink it almost after it's ready for bottling and I left it about a year or so some of it and it tasted absolutely scrummy as you like it made a good mulled wine as well and it also made a very good um, sangria which we will get into as the years go by so once you've done that. Persuaded everything to leave the stainless steel which is best potato crusher. Then you can use hot water. I was asking for that one way. So that was about a litre ish of water, two pints. Then goes in the sugar, as it says on here, 1.5 kilograms, three pounds. That's just rough, roughly, sort of like, not quite, is it? There you go. Should I put more sugar in because it's got rhubarb? Or will that spoil it? I'm not sure. Got my recipe. Well, it is actually a bit of my recipe, isn't it? Because I'm doing the. Mm. So, all the bits and pieces you need to make this. The list is there, and also, hopefully, a very good, reliable supplier. Link below, under the screen of this, not you know in the comments bit, whatever we call it. I'm very new to this, don't you know? Just keep stirring until all the sugar is dissolved and then you have to throw in the rest of the stuff. Just like this. So in goes the rest of the water, cold water. It's, um, well, I don't know what these measurements are like. But it's basically another 
three litres of water, which is about five pints. I'm going to have some complaints, you know. Give it a good stir. Put in the rest of the ingredients. This is juice from the lemon. It's actually half a lemon. And you're off. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you get the old. Uh, I don't know if you get the pips in there because they won't make a difference and you can take them out anyway. Clean hands. Yeah. I think it's probably quite a good idea to stir it every time you put a single ingredient in because it doesn't sort of all stick together. Very strong black tea. I um, suggest leave it five minutes. It's got to be basically stewed. Now, pectilus, teaspoonful of that. I'm not going to go too mad, I don't think, but then again, I think this is one that breaks down all the, the enzymes and that in the fruit. Said stir between. This is the yeast nutrient. This helps the yeast do its business. I think. Look it all up if you want to. And the all important, the yeast. Sprinkle it evenly first of all. One of those sachets can do up to 25 litres, this isn't. And basically it just says, doesn't it? Just stir. Stir it all in. She's got to be covered, just put the lid on loosely, make sure no bugs can get in or anything else. Put it somewhere warm for about three days. It may bubble up a bit, but it's a biggish bucket. So, three days in the airing cupboard, keep it nice and warm. It wasn't right up against the tank or anything, which has a jacket, which has a jacket on anyway. To me that looks really good, that's where it should be. Um, whether you should drain or strain through this is probably up to you. Looking at the blackberries, there's probably not going to be much juice in there of any flavour. So let's get on with the pouring into a sterilised jemmy. Get the bit of Could be splishy, splashy, sposhy, shouldn't it? It goes a little bit hazy because of the extra you're squidging out, don't worry about it because it does all clear in the end and it will look delicious and hopefully it will taste very really nice as well. Like I said I've had to bung some rhubarb in here just to make up the four pound of fruit where I only had three pound of blackberries. Unfortunately I was a bit late going out blackberrying this year. Next year I'll do it really early along with the slows and I may even do the um, rose hips. A uh, quick word about foraging, yep you can get what you want when you want as long as you're not trespassing on private property. 
I always try and leave some on the trees, bushes, whatever for other people as well as the animals. And also, if I drop any of them, I leave them. Don't pick them up and use them, just let the animals that are on the floor eat them. So that's it, it's in the demijohn. Put in the bun. Put in the airlock, a bit of water. Have to keep an eye on that, we're topping it up now and again. Always put the little lid on, keep the bugs out. So in about a month's time, this just has to go into another container. It's called racking off, just to get any more sediment away. Then that goes into another container, and then just wait for it to clear. And I want you to comment, like, subscribe, and then you know when more videos are coming up. We don't just do homebrew, we do other stuff too. But I love it. You so, till next time, thank you for watching.